It's been a while. Um, I've been kind of busy, but today I have taken apart an old scanner, and this is the voltage, high voltage supply for this the scanner light. And it runs off of just 12 volts DC, and it converts it to probably around a couple thousand volts. And I'm planning to use it in a Marx generator, but I need a rectifier to change it to DC voltage, and I don't have a, a decent one for that. So for now, I'm just messing around with it, and let me show you some cool things you can do. The main purpose was to light up this light bulb. It's about a foot long. And what I, it's pretty interesting because I don't even need to have the other end of the light bulb in. I can just hold the light bulb at the end and it lights the whole thing up. And... Yes, so I don't know. For instance, if I hold it here, it only lights up that much of the light bulb. So that's pretty cool. It's a neat light bulb. I can always just use it for that. It lights up other things like this, uh, like this plasma globe. I can kind of control it with the negative end of that. And let's see, oh yeah. Also, it lights up a black light fluorescent bulb. And it, I don't know why, it just it tingles my fingers. I think there might be a little bit of electricity coming out when I do this. Funny feeling. But besides that, there's some other cool things that I found inside of the scanner. The imaging chip that was inside the scanner and I've never seen a, uh, a camera that's long like that but I also found a bunch of neat mirrors high quality mirrors and this is the little lens for the for the camera and it's actually a really good microscope so I'll show you these little salt crystals under the the microscope. It's a nice macro lens for a camera, so that's pretty cool. Surprisingly good quality if you look at it through your eyes as compared to the cell phone video. This is the Marks generator itself that I'm building. So far there are 10. And what is it? 40 kilovolts on there. And then these are about 1,000 ohm resistors. And the only thing that's preventing me from firing it up right now is that I don't have a high enough rated rectifier or diode to change the AC high frequency into DC because it won't charge the capacitors right now. But this is just a sneak peek of what's to come soon. Goodbye everybody and have a good day.